Nigerians taking part in the nationwide hunger protest say they will not stop until the federal government meets their demands. Speaking with Trust Davis Noel Samson, who was monitoring their exercise, which is now on its second day in the FCT, some residents said they will continue hitting the streets until day 10 to press home their demands. The report. Like that, I be, I be big, but now because of uh, this guns over, see where, where I come still, still him like that. The day two protests started at the Berga roundabout, where the protesters were seen chanting different solidarity songs and carrying placards with different inscriptions. <laughs> Not too long into the protest, the police started firing tear gas at protesters who were via a court order asked to restrict their protests to the National Stadium, Abuja. At the stadium, the protesters alluded the biting economic policies which have led to the pervasive hunger in the land as reasons for the protest and vowed not to stop until the president meets the demands. We're here for the day two of the Days of Rage. The end bad governance protest in Nigeria. It's simply to make very fundamental request. One which is the reversal of forest subsidy. You all agree that forest subsidy removal has done us a whole lot of bad as a people and a nation. It has heightened our hardship, the hunger is unprecedented, and this needs to be reversed. I understand in the subsidy regime there's a whole lot of criminality, but you don't want to kill corruption and kill the citizens in part of it. You should have analyzed and understood how many million by, uh, liters of fuel is consumed in Nigeria. Kill the corruption in the subsidy regime and not Nigerians. If you practice democracy, you know that the right to, the right to protest is a, is, a, is a fundamental right, even in the African Charter of the Peoples and Human Rights, in the uh, United Nations Charter, and in the Nigerian Constitution. Where you say if you go to Chapter 4, you have Section 39 that talks about freedom of speech, Section 40 about freedom of association, Section 41 about freedom of movement. So the government must know that whatever they are using the security agencies to do to press the peaceful nature of this protest and even sponsoring co-protesters for days before this protest there were people protesting against this protest nothing happened to them there were people protesting that this protest should not happen nothing happened to them now protest is happening and there's something going on there's so much manpower being deployed it that same manpower has been deployed against banditry our farmlands would have been saved so we can't continue to deploy manpower negatively the nigerian constitution is a fundamental right that must be obeyed by those in government those in government we are not beholden to them nigerian people are not supposed to be genuflecting any time they see those in government. It is not the government who should be afraid if there is a democratic election. We are here, you know, as citizens to actually, you know, keep to our promise that we are going to pro you know, protest from August 1st to 10th. That is if government complies with our demands. If they don't comply, we actually continue the protest. I will also beg my northern brothers and sisters that they should come down with the rates they have vandalized this government property because I will still use this money to go and repair these tents. So please stop burning police stations. It will not help us. We are coming out in our numbers to protest against bad governance. We are coming out in our numbers to pro protest against the inflation rate. We are coming down. There is nothing that I've seen this, 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 this government do that has, has pleased me since this government entered. So I am begging the president, come and address us in 24 hours, please. The protesters marched towards the Eagle Square, but were stopped by security personnel before getting there. No, Samson. Thrust TV News, Abuja.